I already uh, told you that I was I'm I already retired in last month, right? So my title should be uh, the part-time research fellow now uh, in the in the BRCAS, and also I was appointed as the chair professor in the National Time Ocean University. So uh, the most of my time is still be here because those database uh, projects I still need to help to supervise until. Uh, two of my successor, later I will introduce them to you, uh, that they can really take that, that over very quickly. <laughs> so I will release my uh, burden. So, so anyway, we have uh, four days workshop. The, uh, the topic of this day is workshop, uh, I'm sorry, is a workshop introduction, no, no, the introduction of biodiversity informatics, and uh, which will be uh, given mainly by the Hosoya san the, the second day will be the publishing the biodiversity data, how to submit the biodiversity data paper, and uh, the reusing the biodiversity uh, open data, and to make, uh, especially on the open data policy. And uh, for this submitting biodiversity data paper, we like to mention especially on the sampling event data for publishing, because this is uh, quite uh, new in the GB22 uh, in the Madagascar, in the uh, uh, last year, they have some conclusion in that meeting. One well, of the conclusions that the GB in the future they will try to enhance the collaboration with the Cat of Life, Buffalo of Life, Encyclopedia of Life, as well as the IPBS and the Geopon, etc. And the focus also to try to include not only taxonomic uh, data column but also the environmental factors, uh, the environmental data, we call it the sampling event data. So the, this workshop is pretty new, so we learn faster, right? Very quick, and I hope to teach all of you. And also they mentioned that uh, the regional collaboration to promote that is also important in the Asia. They uh, thank Japan the government. They, uh, they uh, uh, you know, uh, they, uh, they like to uh, give some funding to support the uh, diversity information, uh, you know, collaboration in Asia countries, we call it the BIFA, by the information funds, okay. So the money mainly come from this fund. So this is the future uh, plan of development of GBIT. We have collaborated with the GeoBound and the IPBES and the CBD and uh, reached the, uh, the goal of the SDG in the 20 years uh, And uh, for the background, as you know, the ASEAN regional meeting for the GBIT, we have uh, now many times, right? The, uh, uh, the, in the, the four times is in Taipei as well as in the sixth, uh, you know, the meeting was also in Taipei. In, the, in this meeting, actually, we are, uh, we are this, uh, in Lantou, in the central Taiwan, we are talking about how to, uh, to apply the Biva Fund and uh, how to, uh, you know, to the, uh, kind of evaluation and to decide which project should be funded, etc. So after a couple months of the effort, so finally from uh, maybe totally eight projects was applied, then four, four of them was granted. So Taipei is here. So for this workshop, actually, that is be, uh, belong to this uh, project, I think, right? To have this workshop. So, so the uh, Dr. Yu Huang actually, uh, the, the real organized work was all handled by the Dr. Yu Huang. Wow. And uh, the uh, office of semantic center. So the uh, he Yuan is the type of log manager, as also uh, as well as the uh, deputy chair of GPS and not. So uh, we get this fund uh, from Japan so that we can host this conference. Sorry. And uh, this is the uh, after this uh, four days meeting, then we will have the. Uh, uh, two days, another two days meeting in the next week. Uh, in the next week, twelfth uh, and the thirteenth, to have the AP Bone meeting in Taipei. The, the, I'm sorry, the eighth. And uh, some of you will stay and uh, also attend this meeting. But some of you may uh, return to your country. So this is the program agenda of our next meeting. Talking about AP bomb, as you know that uh, the top of the AP bomb is the geo bomb, right? Actually, in the 
in July, in the uh, two months ago, that we uh, there is the first open science conference uh, at in the labs in the Germany that the three of Taiwanese scientists attend, including the drama and myself, and another one from Western Taiwan University to attend this conference. So the Geobank is kind of a cross-discipline, multidisciplinary uh, collaboration. All the data from different dip disciplines should be, uh, uh, you know, shared together to uh, integrate together. But it is not so easy, even for the biodiversity uh, compartment. That is already very difficult, right? So we are do our best. But anyway, the, I, I should apologize that in the next week meeting, two days workshop of the AP Bond, I will have to stay here to join with you because I, uh, I need to go to the Denver United States to attend this uh, uh, science data conference uh, in these two days. But the first day, I need to attend a World Data System uh, 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 meeting and the Coleta General Assembly. So, because Taiwan is also one uh, kind of uh, uh, you know, the participant uh, member of the co-data. So this is the meeting. Uh, uh, so as you know, I'm a fish taxonomist, right? I have also my own Taiwan fish database. And my database is the only database, uh, only delegates represent Taiwan to uh, join this uh, uh, WDS, which is under the ICSU. So this is also the reason I have to go uh, to the United States, even I'm retired, so I need to go there too. Uh, that is my obligation. And however, the, we have about almost uh, 15 years experience to promote biodiversity data integration and as well as to open the data. So sometimes we will write a paper uh, to share our experience with you. Uh, since in the past uh, uh, 15 years, we joined the GB in the beginning and also create the uh, uh, couple of database like a catalog of Taiwan and Taiwan Lot of GB and the part of life in Taiwan, encyclopedia of life in Taiwan. And the last one, the reason why is the uh, biodiversity monitoring of the uh, system uh, of Taiwan. We call it the Taipong, which is a uh, very link with the Geobomb. So infrastructure is like this. Uh, Cattle of Taiwan, the species checklist is the most important thing. Uh, like this, this just like a backbone. So, a uh, color with Thai EOL, linked with the EOL, Thai ball, and the board, and the Thai beef, the G beef, Thai bong, to AP bong, and the bong. So, I'd like to introduce you to of the, my colleagues, and they, he, they, they have assigned to success my, you know, part of my work. Uh, Dr. Dan Mu Ning, he is here. He is actually the special ecologist. Uh, he got his uh, PhD degree from the Michigan State University and uh, was uh, working at the Yale University for two or three years for postdoc. So he came to uh, as one of, uh, of uh, our staff in the Biotech Research Center. So, so I will hope that he, in the future he can help me handle this type of as well as the uh, type of these two projects and their missions. And uh, Dongo Fang, is he here? Uh, he showed up uh, last night, but not sit down ready to eat. <laughs> but he is the plant taxonomist. Okay, he will, uh, he now was appointed as the new uh, director of World Research Museum, now by the Alfred Research Center. Uh, he will help me maybe in the type O project on the maybe type on the type O in the future. These three of these uh, is related to the taxonomy uh, the field. Okay, so anyway, the mission of Thai Beef is try to teach some of the new tool kits uh, from the GBIF and uh, to uh, to uh, in the Taiwan and uh, to help all different kind of uh, institutions or all the government agencies to uh, uh, collect their data and uh, you know and uh, uh, to standardize their data by using this uh, platform, you know, and then, and then we can submit to the GBIF and as well as the TYBIF. So the, uh, so far we have uh, uh, mobilized most, almost three million uh, records, open records from different uh, agencies. So three million is not uh, much, but however we are the third rank in the 453 social participants. Uh, to contribute the data to the uh, global uh, database. So, 
uh, they, they every year they will publish the kind of the contribution of each participants to make a, you know kind of the uh, uh, encouragement. Anyway, the uh, uh, one way to uh, encourage people, scientists, to open their data is to uh, promote a data paper. As you know, data paper, many journals now, they encourage scientists to publish their data. You know, that, that is also a CI paper, so because many countries, they, they need that. Right? If you evaluation your research merit, then they will hope that you, uh, you can have a CI paper. So anyway, because we have helped uh, to promote this policy data paper, so myself in, in my lab, I published three already in the past uh, three years. And uh, so in this workshop, one purpose is to teach you how to do that, how to publish the data paper. Actually, this is not the first workshop we are doing that. Actually, in 2012, we already introduced the IPT, uh, this tool toolkit, into integrated the pub publishing toolkits and uh, how to write a data paper in, uh, uh, in Taiwan Endemic Research uh, Center in uh, Nantou. So, and uh, we also promote open data uh, policy in Taiwan. As you know, in Taiwan, open data is, uh, is a future policy. Uh, no matter it's old government or new government, we're still to working towards that way. So, Economic Center will also help to to have this uh, uh, conference or workshop in Taiwan. So this is my, my last time. I need to thank all my team members, uh, especially in this semantic center. We have uh, maybe around seven or eight uh, assistants to help us. As you know, to do the biodiversity data integration, not only you should have some people know the content, you also need some people to know the IT, right? If some people, they can know both sides, oh, that's fantastic. But this kind of uh, you know kind of person is not so many. So we hope after this workshop, some of you maybe you are specialist on the content, maybe you are IT person, but they, they can working together. Okay, thank you very much again. Thanks.